I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to do some color grading in After Effects zombie style. Enjoy! Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and I have my zombie clip here so if we drag this into a new composition um, just like this um, the first thing I've done is changing my composition settings to full HD, but instead of using 1080 um, in the height, I will be using 800 and I will change the frame rate to 24, which is a cinematic film uh, FPS, and then we'll click OK. Scale up my video file, and actually it doesn't matter that we are losing a little bit of the quality, because actually a horror movie can uh, can be a little bit less quality. It actually gives that nice touch to, to our movie. So we have now a widescreen of our um, horror movie. And this is actually a personal preference. So uh, if you want to use uh, full HD, uh, be my guest to do so. So I will drag this down just a little bit so it's a little bit better in the composition, just like this. And then the first thing I will do is right click here, click new and add an adjustment layer. That adjustment layer, I'm going to rename it to Vignette and I'm going to add an effect here, color correction, curves and with these curves, I'm going to drag these down just like so. Then I'm going to choose my ellipse tool right here and if we double click on that ellipse tool, we're going to get a perfect ellipse right here. Then also I'm going to change uh, it to a subtract mode and if we press F on the keyboard, we can feather this uh, up a little bit just like so. Um, then what I've done is adding a, another adjustment layer and I'm going to rename this to color grading. And here I will be adding a little bit of noise and grain and add the grain. For the viewing mode we are going to change this to final output and intensity we are going to change this to 0.5. Then for the size I'm also going to change it to 0.5 and let's see what we get as a result. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and check it on and off. So we get a little bit of grain here in our video. Next I will add another effect on that same adjustment layer, blur and sharpen and add an unsharp mask. Here we are going to increase it to something like 75 and then I'm going to duplicate my unsharp mask and I'm going to change the radius to 25 and then of course this is going to be overdone so I'm going to toggle my amount down to something like 35. And here we have a little bit more popping in uh, our video. Next I will add an effect called Tint. And we are going to lower this down to like 35 as well. And lastly we are going to add an effect called Curves. Uh, of course the good old curves. And we're going to bring them down in the shadows and bring them a little bit back to the highlights. But don't overclip them here. So we're just trying to get more contrast in our video. Of course, you can uh, scrub a little bit through the video to see how other areas of our video are going to look like. And then here we can see something a little bit more of our frame, so we get a little bit more color. And then I'm going to choose the red uh, here for the curves, and I'm going to bring them down actually. Something like this is a little bit too much, so I'm going to leave them a little bit there in the highlights, and then bring them down in the shadows, so we get these nice green shadows. For the greens, I'm also going to pull them up in the shadows here and also play around with them uh, in the highlights here, so something like this. It's a little bit overdone, but we're also going to play with the blues. And for the blues, we're going to take them away here. And there we go. And then for the second blue and the highlights, let's try and pick it up here. And maybe for the lower shadows, we can actually bring the shadow up like this, but just not so much. So our shadows turn blue. And I actually think that my red channel is a little bit too low, so I'm going to bring this up again a little bit. So now we have something like this, and if we're going to solo our layer, we'll see that this is the before and this is already the after, which is already looking pretty cool. You can also add an effect like a stylized glow and add some glow in there, but just keep it very subtle. So right now it's of course overdone, so we're going to get the threshold up and the intensity down. 
something very low. And let's see what works. And then also increase the radius and bring it down a little bit more in the threshold so we actually can see it. Okay, there we go. And then just increase the radius here. And just toggle down the intensity to something like 0.1. Now if we toggle on and off the glow we're going to get this nice pop in the, in the center of our video. Also for the vignette I'm also going to bring it up just a little bit because I think it's a little bit too dark in the edges here. So you can play with that to your personal preferences. And then, then once you're done and you want to see the final result, you can drag this into a new composition. Uh, go to the composition settings and change the height to 1080. And here you will see the black borders, which give you a good idea of the composition of our video. Maybe darken down the video a little bit more overall. So go back to your composition, go to your clip, and go to the curves here again. And then just lower them down. And there we go. Before and after. So it's already looking much more like in a horror scene, a, like a zombie movie, so this is a pretty cool trick to get some nice uh, horror style color grading in Adobe After Effects. Of course, you can uh, do this in Premiere as well, so if you follow the same steps, um, it's going to be a little bit different, but most of these steps uh, are also uh, the same in Adobe Premiere, so if you prefer to work there, so be my guest. And that's actually it. So this was my tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like my tutorial, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.